Well, unfortunately, you're catching me on the run again. Um, been several things happened this morning, so I'm getting this up late. But there have been several things happened today that have required, and I can't tell you what they are, but they've required patience and understanding and caring about some people who were going through a difficult time. And not only on my part, but on the part of other people who also helped with the situation. And it made me think of Ephesians 3.15 that says, And you being rooted and grounded in love. It talks about how as Christians, the very foundation of what we're supposed to be, of course, is Christ. Our relationship with God through the Holy Spirit. If Christ is our foundation, then the foundation of our lives should be love. The Bible says that through faith, we're supposed to be rooted and grounded in love. And through that, we can know the height and depth, the breadth and width of God's love and mercy. I realize I'm not quoting exactly and that I'm taking a little bit of liberty, but not much. God says, I want you to be rooted and grounded in what makes me up. The Bible says that God is love. Not that God has love or not that God loves, but that God is love. If God is love and he wants us to be rooted and grounded in love, he wants our foundation to be love, that means he wants him to be our foundation. He wants to be our foundation in everything that we do. I had a man yesterday who is an amazing man and he's done this for years. I said, Craig, I'm sending you some money. I want you to find people that need some help and help them. I probably shouldn't put this out over Facebook. I'll be getting a dozen requests. But no more than I had gotten that check that God opened the door to two people that were in desperate need of help. And I got a call from a from one of the government agencies that says, I know this is a long shot, but is there anything you can do to help? There's this mother. She's a single mom. She's been sick. She's been off of work. She doesn't have anything for her kids for Christmas. Can you help? And boom there dropped in my lap was the means to help that's because that person is rooted and grounded in love you know what when we rest our lives upon the love of God it's incredible what can happen I've had two other situations this morning where people needed some help and I was able to provide it because of the love that someone else showed what about you today? How are you grounded? What is the root source of your life? If it's a relationship with Jesus Christ, then you are rooted and grounded in love. And I hope that's the case. Have a Merry Christmas. God bless you. Mom, if you're watching, I love you.